Good morning. I just walked to the beach. It's about 7.30 a.m. And it's beautiful to wake up and to be able to come and see this beauty. Thailand is so moist, <laughs> the air. It rains and the ocean is here. The land is so green and fertile. The beach is beautiful. I didn't take any pictures or do any filming when we were flying here. But the islands are just beautiful. This is definitely not Hawaii. Very different. Yesterday we took a one hour flight from Bangkok to Phuket. We landed at Phuket International Airport. And getting out of Bangkok was a smart thing to do. Bangkok is very busy. It's a mecca for shopping and business and it's wonderful. And it has wonderful people and wonderful food. But now being here in Phuket where it's calm and peaceful and quiet and relaxing is going to be the wonderful end to our vacation. And we will be here until Wednesday. Wednesday we get back on the airplane. We fly back to Bangkok. We'll spend one more night in Bangkok. And then we will head back to the States. Sarah and I were talking last night about going snorkeling, taking a snorkeling excursion. That versus going to see elephants. I'm not really about wanting to go and touch elephants and see elephants and bathe elephants. So she and her son may go do that. But I really want to find a wonderful spot to snorkel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I'm going to enjoy this Thai beach for you. Good morning. Hi, you're taking a picture of me, I'll take a picture of you. You're going to sit inside or you're going to sit at the front? At the front. Three. And right here, this is outward skipper. Call him man. Good morning. Hello, man. And, okay, I want. Okay, and, uh, and one more guy to let you know the boy in the long sleeve yellow shirt behind. Uan Uan. So during the day, whatever you, wherever you are, whatever you do, don't be naughty. You are recording on DVD by him. You got witness, okay? All right, we will be at Bamboo Island approximately quarter past 10. Okay, thanks for my attention and have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. And for the soft drink, the blue can is cola. And also the orange, so, uh, the, uh, the, 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 oh, nice. the orange Fanta. Okay, whenever you you might have a drink, just help yourself to grab it from here. And uh, to be enjoyed with the beautiful scenery. So whenever, if you're not feeling well, suggest you excuse me, sir. So I suggest you to stand on your seat and go on the bar and look out there looking for the fresh air. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and our crew is going to serve you at the green. Just grab whatever you want. Do you drink it? Orange. Yeah. Fanta. Nice. Fanta. We're getting ready to pull out of the marina. Get it out for a wonderful day. I don't have my food on. Because I didn't want to get in the way. So, I'm 
don't know what time it is at all. Probably nine. Probably nine o'clock. Probably. Yeah. He said we'll get there at ten fifteen. So. Okay. Oh, and it's about an hour, so it must be nine fifteen. It's Thursday and I'm back in Bangkok. Went to Phuket, which is south to the beach. And yesterday we took an hour, a little over an hour flight on Thai Lion, that's the airline, um, back here to Bangkok. Because tomorrow morning, early, oh, we have to be at the airport, probably I think like at 7 a.m. because our flight is out at 9, 9.30ish or so. And you know in the States, we they tell us to be at the airport two hours early. Well here, they want you at the airport three hours earlier. So I posted a video today, um, which was the first installation in my uh, trip here to Bangkok. And I have several others, but um, I kind of slowed down there for a while because of course we were enjoying the sights and so I didn't want to stop and edit video and all that. And then, <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell, but three days ago I got sick and actually all of us got sick. My friend that I'm traveling with, her son, his girlfriend, everyone got sick. So not fun. And so we were throwing up and it was just too much. Our stomach was just all yucky and just so many factors probably involved in all that. But anyway, I think we're all on the mend now. Um, my friend's son's girlfriend lives in Singapore. So she flew home to Singapore and um, he is coming home with us back to the States tomorrow. And then he'll be back because of course he worked. We went to Phuket and Phuket was so much fun. It's where the beach is and it's where a lot of people from the UK and from other parts of Asia come to go to the beach. As one um, gentleman that we met in the pool from that lives in Germany, he said he and his wife are very well traveled and he said for us to come from Germany to Phuket, Thailand, is kind of like when you guys go to, from California, go to Mexico for your beaches. I said, oh, okay. So he and his wife are well-traveled and you know, here's the thing. I'm gonna do a separate video on different people. There's about at least three, but possibly five people that I wanna talk to you guys about and share with you about the people that we met here while we were in Thailand. We just talked to everybody, a lot of people while we were here and that's the goal, right? Is to go and soak up the culture and talk to the people and, and just see what everyone is doing. So I'm really excited to be going home. You know why, I miss Raleigh. Um, I miss my little buddy. Um, I know she misses me 
too. I haven't FaceTimed them at all while we're while we've been here. The timing is so off because when I wake up in the morning, um, you know, it's already the evening for them and close to the baby's bedtime. Um, so I just haven't really even we haven't FaceTimed, but Raleigh and I have been texting. We've talked about three or four or five times. So I know that they're ready for me to come home. I'm ready to come home. So I'm going to probably post this video. I'm going to give you a little room tour of the room that, I, that we're in right now on our last night in Bangkok. And then, um, you know, I'm just going to tell you guys bye and then I'll see you back in the States. Okay, we're in room 1012. So we're on the 10th floor of the Courtyard Marriott. I'm not gonna open it, but this is closets. Here's luggage. There's three of us traveling, and since we're only gonna be here one night, we didn't even go ahead and unpack. So there are some drawers down there, and then some water, a menu, and if you, if you open up this, there's cups and glasses, there's tea and coffee for you, there's snacks that you can purchase, I'm sure, and there's a refrigerator. Ooh, I might have to enjoy one of those waters in just a minute. And I didn't realize those were in there. We got in late last night. And here's the bathroom, pretty simple bathroom. Here are the toiletries that come with it and our, my stuff is all over because that's my bag right there and had something open up and so it's a mess. Anyway, here's the bath, there's the shower and there's a mirror right there, the bathroom and coming around here, here's basically the bedroom, here's a desk, TV, here's a chair. We got a rollaway bed. He just came and delivered the rollaway bed about 15 minutes ago because um, my friend's son is going to spend the night with us since he's late. we're leaving out so early in the morning. And then our bed, and then that's it. Then we're back over there. So pretty simple room. We got in last night and actually when we got off the plane, we needed to go back over to the Empire Place where we had stayed when we were in Bangkok last week because we had left some luggage there for that they held for us so we wouldn't have to bring it with us to Phuket and then bring it back. And then, so when we got in last night, we went directly over to Empire Place. Well, the traffic in Bangkok is ridiculous. I mean, I would say, I would venture to say that it's even worse than New York. For those of you that live in New York, um, it's ridiculous. So, so once we got over to the hotel, um, we went ahead and um, got our luggage there. By the time we did all that, then came back over here, um, it was late and we were tired. And so we took showers and just went to sleep. So woke up this morning and um, there's a lounge on the 15th floor. There's a restaurant downstairs, but then there's also a lounge on the 15th floor. As members, we can go in there and it's very simple um, foods that are there. We went for breakfast and mind you, our stomachs are just recovering from being sick. So we didn't want much. They had snacks at 2.30 and they had tuna sandwiches and I ate a half a tuna sandwich. I think that's gonna be okay with my stomach. I think I just need to keep drinking water. My friend and her son went out. They're going to do one last shopping trip out in um, Bangkok. And so I don't really think I need to buy anything else. I mean, I really haven't bought a whole lot. I think I'm going to go downstairs to a little market here and buy a couple more things. We have a five hour layover in Tokyo tomorrow. So uh, I think I'm going to buy some things there in the airport um, at the duty free shops and stuff. So I don't know. Thank you for coming along with me on this trip. This is a an amazing place to come. When I um, share with you more about the trip, I think that you will probably um, maybe add Thailand to your um, bucket list. I will just tell you from everyone that we talk to that travels to Thailand and that lives anywhere near Asia says that Tokyo and Hong Kong are so expensive and so coming to Thailand is cheap and it's fun and there's lots of do and there's lots to shop there's lots of shopping so that's why they come here so and I trust them because that's what we did while we were here anyway I'm gonna go my throat is hurting I need to go get some water 
Thank you guys again for watching. I'm gonna post this video, but then I'm going to edit and start posting some of my other videos because when I get home, I have ideas for a few other videos that I want to be making, especially with Halloween coming. So I hope that whatever you're doing, you're doing things you love with people you love, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.